I just actually think the last three weeks, you know, um, even the Carolina game, I thought we started to build something. And, and uh, the Fort Lauderdale game and this game, I thought, knowing we were out of it, but really wanted to show our fans and, and build something uh, is not easy to do psychologically. And I thought the guys, particularly if you watch the Tampa game, really uh, started out strongly in the first half and really set a tone that, hey, we're here to play some soccer tonight. We're here to get a good result. I really enjoyed the game because it wasn't just uh, back and forth the entire game. You know, the first half we really took control, scored some great goals. Uh, obviously the first goal, the soccer on the left side of the field, you know, the triangles were created and then Taka switched to Omar. Omar's uh, ability to isolate and go one-on-one -on -one and get a great cross off set up, I think, a tone for you know us to remind that we have some good attacks in us. And, uh, and then the second goal, I think, was just, again, isolating Omar on a one-on-one. -on -one. I, I think he just did a really good job of taking the guy inside and then back outside and then just hitting that really hard bow shot. So uh, again, to me, that was just the attitude and the clinical finishing uh, of the entire group. Those first two goals by Floyd and Omar set the tone. And uh, like I said, that first half defensively, we really played well. And I thought we really dominated and we should have been up maybe by more at, at halftime. So, um, as the second half started, I, I think the, the tone for us that I was really proud of was that we always responded well when they came back within a goal. Uh, we came back and attacked and really got back at the game and didn't just try to sit back and defend a one goal lead. Pablo's goal where I felt like Omar made a really key run to open up Pablo and the goalie had to think about whether Pablo was going to pass or shoot and, and Pablo hit a nice left footed shot. Uh, and then the, the finish at the end, you know, I think you got to give Mike Ammons a little bit of credit for the ball he played to Omar. It was at the right space, right tempo of the ball so that Omar could one touch it. Not easy to do what Omar did as well. You know, keeper running right at you to, to put the ball over the keeper uh, from that far away is, is not easy. But again, I, I just think we are, had some great uh, attitude in terms of how we wanted to get forward, get numbers forward. Um, and certainly I think the guys were a little disappointed. We kind of let them back in the game a couple times and gave up what we kind of consider some soft goals. But we always responded, uh, I thought, really aggressively. Whereas maybe other games, I don't think we were playing with the same consistency game in, game out. And, I, and again, I, I go back to our last three games where I really thought every game we got stronger and stronger. And so I think that gave us more confidence to kind of execute those chances. In a lot of ways, I thought the good soccer, uh, and if you continue to do that, good chances will follow. And if you have that attitude about finishing, then good finishing will follow. There's some amazing storylines uh, on so many different planes. Uh, you know, there's the, the ownership group that's come in and, and really has made such a positive influence in so many different areas. And I, I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, embracing those changes even more. And that's, it certainly was a transition year, and, and I think um, we're only going to be stronger and uh, more prepared both on and off the field next year to have more success. So I'm excited about those uh, areas being implemented. And I think a game like uh, we had this weekend away and the one at home reminds uh, the group uh, as we try to build and get better next year that there were a lot of positives. We do a lot of really good things here and we're going to get better and you know our fans should be excited uh, for next year.